Hello there Minecrafters, it's me Control Shift Create here, and I'm going to be bringing you the Skyrim Craft mod for Minecraft 1.2.5. I've been trying to do a video for this for a while, but I haven't been able to find a link to download the Skyrim Craft mod, but I have succeeded in doing that today, so I thought let's get on and make the video straight away. Uh, I'll give you links in the description. I'm going to use Mod Loader, a Skyrim Craft, and too many items. Anyway, to get install this mod, you'll need 7-zip or WinRAR, something equally capable, it doesn't really matter which. Anyway, open two of them. I always like to do this. And in one of them you need to find your Minecraft bin, which is in, if I go all the way out, it will be in your username, app data, roaming, dot Minecraft. Go into your bin, see Minecraft.jar, go into that and see meta-inf. This is a folder. Press delete and press enter because that just gives you a black screen. It's to, designed to stop you modding. Okay. In the other tab, you need to find where you saved your mods. I've got them on my desktop, in my nice little mods folder. And as you can see here, I've got mod loader here and Skyrimcraft here. Go into mod loader, and there's a load of class files. Just click one of them, and do control A. This will select all of them, and then you can just simply drag them into the other tab, and hit yes, and then that's mod loader installed. And then go to Skyrimcraft, double click on it, and there's a folder inside it double click on that and then you get all these things, there's a load of classes, there's uh, some armor files, folders, pictures, anyway just click one of them and do control A and it, oh, control A and it will select them all and then just simply drag them into your minecraft.jar and press yes and now let's go back up again and find too many items there it is and click one of them do and do control A and it will select them all again and then just drag them into your minecraft.jar and press yes and that's uh, Skyrimcraft successfully installed oops I'm trying to close them I just opened another one instead alright now close them down I'll open up Minecraft to prove to you this works because if you're gonna comment on my videos and tell me that they're not working at least try and tell me why they're not working and then I can try and help you but they do work because they work for me uh, which means they work and for some reason my Minecraft uh, always takes a long time to log in, I don't know why but it gives you a nice chance to read the Minecraft updates shift clicking to support and furnaces. In Minecraft 1.2.5 they didn't really do anything did they? anyway as it loads up you'll see some different screens there, you saw I love modding I think it said and it will now say Skyrimcraft beware of the teleporting assassins, I don't know if that's new or if that's just for Skyrimcraft or what but yeah Skyrimcraft and then you can go into multiplayer, I don't know if it will let you join a server, I doubt it will Anyway, go into single player and I'll create a new world and let's call it Skyrim Craft. Skyrim Craft and let's press enter and log in. Building terrain. Anyway, the worlds are all the same. It doesn't really add any uh, new humans. It adds some mod mobs, I do think. Uh, but I'm not going to be showing you them. I'm just going to be showing you some of the new swords and stuff. Uh, let's see if this will load. I might do a spotlight uh, for this mod if I get a lot of views. Uh, if I don't, then I don't, but hey. Come on, load. Oh, taking a while. I'm running slowly today. Here we go. And my Minecraft is loaded. And as you can see, above my hunger bar, I've now got some blue crosses. I'm not actually sure what they represent. It might be magic. And in the top left, I've got a thing that says Dragon Souls. And you have to kill a dragon uh, to get a... Uh, to be able to use some of the special abilities like the Fuzraudar chants, I think they are. Oh, there's something down here. What's this? I'm not actually sure. Um, can I mine it? Let's have a look. It looks like bone, is it? Wool part fraud. I don't know what that means, but oh well. Okay, if I press E now and press O, it will open up too many items. And as you can see, there's some more screens because it's one out of five. I usually get four. And it's added some new ores. I've got the ebony ore, which looks identical to coal, which is really awkward. Moonstone ore, conun corundrum ore, orchidalium ore, bone, malachite ore, malachite or stalactite? Ooh, that's the question. Wool part, wool part, wool part, wool part. Anyway, some new stuff there. And we've also got a green apple, cabbage, carrots, apple cabbage stew, ebony ingot, moonstone ingot, corundrum ingot. Uh, we have Dawnbreaker, Daedric, Notched Pickaxe. We have a load of new pickaxes and stuff. I'm not really sure what they'll do. Is that a potion? Can I drink this or what? Uh, I'm not actually sure what you do with this. Anyway, yeah. So as I, as you can see, the Skyrimcraft mod is working. 
And that's all I need to prove to you. And the Deodric helmets and armour, the stuff that looks really sexy. Let's put this on and see what I look like. Helmet. And dead. Whoa, I bet I look really beastly. Oh yeah. Oh yeah, look at me. I'm too cool for this. Okay, so this is the end of my um, Skyrimcraft installation video. I uh, hope you found it useful. If you have, click that subscribe button and show your appreciation. If you haven't, uh, then you've probably done something wrong, or you may not really much point of you watching this video, was there? Okay, uh, this is Control Shift Create, signing out.